Welcome back everybody to Shackman Gaming and Firework Episode 3. Let's go ahead and find out what happened once we went down that dark staircase. Yi Jing Sun! You killed my son! As Yi Jing Sun slowly walks away, I guess. Let's follow after him, but first, let's examine things. Part of an award banner is hanging on the infusion stand. It reads, The Benevolence of a Doctor. Interesting. The door is locked. So even though that's denoted in red, it's my objective. I have to first find a key, I guess. And there it is. <laughs> As if I knew it. There is a key hanging in the cabinet. And we take it. This is strange. This isn't Yi Jing San's clinic. I remember this place. This is the People's Hospital of Xinche City. The People's Hospital. How did we get here? I don't know. I always feel weird after entering the Tian's house. It was like entering an illusion. Oh, hold on. This is new. Who's she? She might be the daughter. Oh, yes, exactly. It's Zhao Zhanhuan. Who is she visiting? Oh, that is the uh, the secret visit that she made to the doctor, isn't it? All right, we're gonna find more about it. Let's follow her and see. Three doors. All right, let's take them one by one. You hear conversation in the room. I heard that a doctor who was beaten up came here a few days ago. Yikes, he even had broken ribs. It's not easy to be a doctor these days. Alright, so he was admitted here. Nothing new. You hear another conversation. The doctor beaten up next door is from Xing Tan, right? Yep, someone died under his care. I have relatives in Xing Tan. They say the patient who died didn't do much good in his life and got his retribution. All people are talking. <laughs> in any case, still no new information, though. It is quiet in the room. And we open the door. Oh. And now we are controlling the doctor, visiting the doctor. Interesting. Dr. Yi, I'm Tian Yu's widow, Zhao Shangwan. I'm really sorry for your husband. Dr. Yi, I know you're a responsible doctor. It wasn't your fault. If he had gone to the hospital earlier, rather than taking his parents' home remedy, things wouldn't have ended up this way. Dr. Yi, how are you feeling now? My ribs were set. They still hurt occasionally, but I'm fine. I'm sorry you have to go through these. My father-in-law might demand compensation in a few days. I've saved up some money over these years. You can use it to deal with it. I can't take your money. I don't have a family to care for. You do. Dr. Yi. You don't need to sympathize with me. I feel less guilty this way. By the way, Miss Zhao, I heard some rumors when I was in the hospital. You are from Xingtan, aren't you? Nah, I'm not from around here. I'm like you. My parents are locals, 
but I am not. I've heard about that. People always said that no secret could remain undiscovered in Xingtan town. It seems to be true. Mr. Zhao, the hospital is full of people. They will talk about your visit here. You should probably go. I appreciate your kindness. Mm -hmm. Dr. Yi, take good care of yourself. Uh, they certainly have a good relationship, but we do not know why. That is the mystery here. I guess we'll find out later. We are back at the Tian's house again. Miss Chen, did you catch on to the rumors they mentioned just now? Yes, I've heard some rumors about Yi Jing's son. Yi Jing's son isn't from Xingtan. He was adopted. And, while he is said to be adopted, in reality he was trafficked. Trafficked? And there are rumors about Zhao Shanghuan? There are many rumors about her. Some people said she was tricked into coming to Xingtan. Some said that she married Tian Yu for his money. Some people even said that she behaved strangely after Tian Yu died, as if she'd lost her mind. As you saw just now, Zhao Xiaohuan was a kind-hearted person. She wasn't obsessed with money and she wouldn't kill her own family. But Yi Jing's son didn't seem like a bad person either. Huh, she's not a believer, I guess. We won't get any conclusion arguing like this. But I have a gut feeling that we are getting closer to the truth about the Tian family case. I agree. Maybe the truth would be found here. So let's keep searching about the truth. So right now we have two suspects, but both of them seem to be kind of innocent. Interesting. Maybe they are. <laughs> Obviously there's lots of plot twists coming up ahead, so that wouldn't be the most weird thing. There is a damaged family portrait on the wall. Interesting, there's only Fan Fan missing, I guess, from the picture. So we should probably find her. And there she is, I'll bite. That's not a photo, that is a sketch. There is a damaged doodle on the wall. And we obtain it. Can we combine these two? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> that caught me by surprise. <laughs> oh, I hate clicking sounds. All right, obviously we're meant to put it there. Is that hair that has appeared all over the screen? All right, let's do this. Empty picture frame on the wall. The photo I just found fits well. Chapter 4, Accumulated Sins, Part 3. Starts now. Jesus. All right, new room. What is this? This is strange. What is this place? Looks like a photo studio. I heard that Zhao Xiaohuan used to work in a photo studio. Tian Yu met her there. All right, so this is the place where they first met. Interesting. What's wrong? Nothing. Officer, you tend to keep your thoughts in your mind. That's why they are called thought, Miss Chen. <laughs> you can tell me if something's wrong. Miss Chen, I hope you won't mind what I'm about to say. I think you know the Tian family too well. It seems to me that you've gone out of your way to investigate them. You had come to Xingtan and covered the story previously, right? You seem to know a lot. You are right. I was a newspaper journalist before coming here as a volunteer teacher. After the case occurred, I investigated the Tian family. 
It was an old habit from my previous job. Hmm. Either that, or you are still on your old job, I would say. That's why you said you'd send the evidence you found to the press. Since I've spilled the beans about myself, can you tell me how you found out about my previous visit to Xingtan to cover a story here? It's complicated. I'll tell you later. Hey, you can't do that. I answered your question. Okay, somebody's taking photos of us. <laughs> I think I heard the sound of a camera shutter. Miss Chen, let's investigate this place first. Yes, dodge the question, nice. Okay, you have to answer my question after the investigation is done, however. A question for a question, it is fair. Alright, let's see who took a photo, I guess. There is a photo coming out down there. Oh, okay. <laughs> a sweet moment, love. Yes, certainly. <laughs> what the heck is in this photo? It's a photo sticker. It's popular these days. When I was in university, girls in my class loved taking these. The theme of the photo was set in advance. Why do students like this kind of thing nowadays? I don't look good in the photo, it makes me look fat. <laughs> ah, girls. Miss Chen, look, in this photo there's something behind us. A black photo frame. Oh shoot, I didn't even realize that. Alright, that could be a window or a mirror. But there are no frames in the backdrop. Maybe something's wrong with the backdrop. Let's investigate. Oh, that is easy. There's gonna be something right behind the backdrop, I guess. <laughs> and let's find out what it is. The backdrop is made of paper. So let's tear it down, I say. And there it is. We obtained a backdrop fragment. And yet again, a happy family portrait. Shahuan, look at the house my dad built for us. It's so spacious. Oh, and this is Tian Yu talking now. Interesting. This place has grand feng shui too. You can see mountains and waters as you open the window. Paste the backdrop fragment. Interesting. Oh, so we are building a, a view, I guess. Hmm, it looks a bit empty. I think we should get some flowers and plants to decorate it. Shahuan, you are a photographer, so you understand this better than I do. Can you take care of this? Oh, and we are Shahuan again. So we need to find things to put there? I guess. Oh, like a dog? <laughs> is that an actual dog? There is a basket of flowers in full bloom on the ground. Take the flower basket, yes. Flower Fragment 3? Oh, that means there's lots of them more. How about the dog? A toy dog designed to make noises. Alright, here's another part of the flowers, I guess. A vase of flowers. And we take it. I see another one in the door. Let's take that as well. Alright, and finally, final set of flowers here, I think. And let's fill the picture frame. The room looks a lot better now. You're definitely a professional. Oh yes, Cha Juan. The baby is about to come to the world. We have to prepare some small toys. You have good taste. Take some toys. Alright, so now we get the dog, I guess. Alright.
besides, what else? This seems like a toy doll. A cute doll. Children love to take pictures with her. I don't know if I see any more toys. Let's just put those two in. Shahwan, thanks for the hard work. Our kids will love it. By the way, my parents mentioned that you were probably exhausted running the photo studio alone. You can move to my hometown, then you can focus on caring for our kid. Don't worry about money. My dad has asked someone to find me a job. I'll start earning money once I'll start the job. Mm-hmm. Alright, then this is how she left town, I guess. But she wasn't happy about it, very clearly. My past is riddled with holes. Will my future be fulfilling? Who knows? Probably not, since you died, I guess. And a telephone in the distance. Let's go answer it. Okay, that sounds closer. Oh, shoot. The hell? Oh, okay, we switched personalities. Interesting. Shahwan, hurry up. Hurry up and find the passbook. Mom, what happened? Miss Zhang was arrested by the police. Your father-in-law and I are thinking about paying some people to meet her again. This is bad. How can I see you in the future? Mom, don't worry. How much do you need? It doesn't matter. How much do we have? No, okay, Mom. I'll get the money now. Interesting. So as a reminder, Miss Zhang... Oh, shoot. Miss Zhang is the lady, the fortune teller, who allowed them to connect with Yu's spirit, I guess. So losing her would be kind of a big blow, especially to the grandparents. This is like an absurd drama. It feels like my husband has died again. But I'm not as sad as I was when it happened the first time. I even feel a sense of relief. Ooh, guilty much? The made-up TNU is like a bottomless pit, but they madly throw their money and energy into it. Hold on, the made-up TNU? Are we still talking about the, uh, the spirit that is cast by Mrs. Zhang? I will find out. I'm afraid of this madness. I'm afraid it will devour Fan Fan. And now this madness has finally come to an end. Alright, so the, uh, the mother, obviously not a believer in the spirit. So why is she playing along, though? That is an interesting question, isn't it? <laughs> I guess she does it to appease the, the grandparents, maybe. Okay, that is new. The person in the portrait disappeared, leaving only the black background. Oh, shoot. And there they are again, sitting in front of the television. There are two paper dolls sitting in the seats in front of the television. Alright, let's get out of here. <laughs> I don't like this room too much. The wall seems to be torn open. A scarlet brick wall is revealed behind it. Oh, and another door. Alright, this is locked. Oh, shoot. The hell was that? And another one. Interesting. A portrait appears on the wall out of nowhere. And I guess the door is now open. I think this is 
The Room of Fan Fan and the Grandmother. There is a crack on the wall. Tear it open? Why, ah, yes. Wall Fragment 2. That means there is a Wall Fragment 1. Let's go find that. I can already see it over there. There is a dial with a combination lock on the table. There might be clues to the combination. Yes, I think the wall fragments are supposed to be numbers then. There is a crack on the wall. And yet again we tear it open. Wall fragment 1. It seems the patterns on the two pieces of paper can be combined. I'll put them together and take a look. Alright, let's see them. Obtained two wall note fragments. Oh, I see what's going on. Uh, if you put one of them over the other one, like exactly over the other one, they kind of form three numbers. So the leftmost would be a nine, combining the circle and the line. Then it would be a two, and then another two. So nine, two, two. Right? Cool. Got it. All right. Nine, two, and another one. The diary is unlocked. 922. That's Fan Fan's birthday. Now that was easy then. <laughs> the style of the cover page doesn't look like a child's diary. Uh huh. Perhaps this is a Zhao Shahuan's diary. Let's see what's written inside. Nineteenth May. Today, father and mother went to visit old lady Zhang. Old Lady Zhang was arrested for fraud and superstitious activities. She might be in prison for a long time. I had no idea what father and mother said to the old Lady Zhang, but they looked less distressed on the way back. Yes, because they were uh, communicating with the sun. That's why they were less distressed, Fan Fan. 26th May, Fan Fang's artwork. Miss Chen said Fan Fang had talents in arts. She could try participating in some competitions. It would help her further her education. Oh, okay. This was ripped a bit. <laughs> 2nd June. A few days ago, mother said she wanted to spend more time with Fan Fan. She wanted Fan Fan to sleep with her that night. I wanted to see Fan Fan in mother's room, but the door was locked. Oh, interesting. Why is the grandmother keeping the granddaughter locked? And away from the mother, I suppose. Interesting. You can kind of slightly see some, I don't know, some distance between the daughter and the grandparents. I mean, the daughter is pretending some things. The grandmother is keeping the granddaughter from the mother. There's definitely a rift between the daughter and the grandmother. 9th June. I don't know if I'm being paranoid, but I always feel that someone is watching me. Yes. Oh, ouch, Jesus. <laughs> I found a dead crow in the yard this morning. I buried her. Today a sapling grew from the place where I, the crow was buried. As it grows stronger and stronger, I guess. Oh, is that the uh, is that the plant outside in the balcony? The one that you loved so much. Interesting. Some of the leaves on the sapling had turned yellow. It looked ugly, if not pruned. So I guess... Oh, yes, we control the scissors. Xia Huan. Zhao Zhao Huan. Zhao Zhao Huan. Oh yes, and we are back at the balcony. Alright, I'm very intrigued to find out what happens between the mother and the grandmother. I guess... Oh shoot! Jesus Christ, speaking of the devil, she appears. Sha Juan. Mom? Why are you staying up so late? I felt like someone was on the balcony just now, so I came to have a look. The plant seems to be moved. 
There are a few dried leaves on the ground that have just been trimmed off. That is Yu's favorite plant. Before Miss Zhang was arrested, Yu had often asked about this plant through her. Perhaps Yu was worried about it, so he came back to have a look. I'll ask the witch in the neighboring town tomorrow. I have been uneasy ever since Miss Zhang was arrested. Mom, don't worry, Dad should be able to find a solution. You are right, Jia Huan. The balcony is windy, don't catch a cold. Come and get some rest early. Uh-huh, you too. Alright, so there seems to be no problem when they talk. But I still think there is a rift between them that's important. And we are back to being Mr. Lin. Ah, uh, what is that sound? The sound of eating is coming from the kitchen. Open the door? Why, yes. The diary is locked by a chain, and there is a ring in the groove of the lock. Also, there is one ring there and one ring missing. Interesting. We need another ring to open the diary. Huh? Oh, shoot. Well, that is different. I've passed the woods when I came to the Tian's house. This is the Tian family ancestral graveyard. After the Tian family died, they were buried here. Alright, I guess let's go to the burial ground. Nothing less spooky than that. A dark path leads to the graveyard. And we enter. <laughs> Follow me, Miss Chen. Miss Chen, what's wrong? I think I heard Fan Fan's voice. She asked me to follow her. Follow her? I don't know what she meant. But it's foggy and there are a lot of branches on the road here. It will be easy to get lost. We need to pay attention to the surroundings. Yeah. Alright, so pay attention to the surroundings, I guess. One, two, three paths. All right, let's try them one by one. The first one seems to lead to the exact same thing. Now right, let's try the second one. Yes, now this is different. We get those wind chimes up there. I uh, guess let's go to the first path again. Nope, still the same. Second path. Still the same. So I'm guessing the third path is the correct one. And indeed, this is different. Oh shoot. You saw that thing appearing behind me, didn't you? <laughs> it is pointing towards the right side. Alright. There is a note. A piece of paper is stuck on the tree trunk. My body will not rot into the mud. Like a bird, it will die in the sky. Alright, we've seen this again. Kinda sounds like somebody writing his last words, doesn't it? I've seen this poem at the crime scene. Oh, final words, suicide note. I heard that it's Zhao Xiaohuan's suicide note, yes, exactly. I wonder what happened on the day of the incident that caused Zhao Xiaohuan to leave such a suicide note. I believe we'll find the answer soon. Right. Oh shoot, and there you go. She points towards the left. Oh yes, they are both pointing on this path in the middle. I guess let's take it. The 
there's a plate of fish in front of the grave. A red scale is particularly eye-catching. Remove the red scale. Oh, shoot, that is not a red scale. A pale finger appeared from the opening. There's a ring on the finger. We obtain it and that's how we are going to open the diary. Oh, shoot. Ah, hello, fellas. <laughs> Paper dolls appeared at the distance. Their gazes are cold. I guess I'm gonna go this way. All right, hope you fellas don't mind. Oh man, that is a creepy game, isn't it? The diary is locked, but we have the means to unlock it. The lock is opened. 7th July. Someone had secretly eaten the fish in the kitchen again. Oh, by the way, remember the kitchen, uh, the fish has definitely some significance. Fanfan and the father love fish, the mother hates it. So we'll see how that plays out. I could not remember how many times it was. Tian Yu was the only person who loved to eat fish other than Fanfan. I had no intention to scare myself. But what was going on? I found some cigarette stubs while cleaning up the house. The only person who smoked in this house was Tian Yu. What's going on? Was Tian Yu back? I went to the bathroom to get some sleeping pills. Otherwise I could not sleep. I started to believe that Tian Yu had returned. He must be watching me in the corner. But that kind of sounds like it's the diary of the grandmother and she believes that her son is back. I couldn't stand it anymore. Tian Yu was around me. He's back. He is back. Was he really back? Xia Huan, I miss you. Interesting. Okay. So we do have a ghost occurrence, I guess. And we are back to being Xia Huan. Jesus, that grandmother. <laughs> Mom? Xia Huan, my leg is in pain again. Will you go to the pharmacy and pick up some medicine for me? That kind of sounds like an excuse for her to go away so she can do something devious, doesn't it? <laughs> go to the one in the west of the town. Do not go to Yi's clinic. Sure, get some rest, Mom. Don't push yourself too hard. It is an old injury. I will be fine. Jahuan, you do not look well lately. Are you alright? I'm fine, mom. It's probably because I haven't been sleeping well. By the way, mom, about Fan Fan going to school in the city. What do both of you think? Miss Chen told me that since Fan Fan has won a city contest, applying for a school in the city should be easy. It's not convenient for me to go to the city, and your father-in-law isn't willing to go. We only have a few more years to live. We'd like to spend more time with Fan Fang. Can't you let her stay in this town for a few more years? Ah, okay. Ooh, and there is the rift I was talking about, maybe. See a disagreement between the daughter and the mother. Interesting. Alright, let's keep going. She wants to take the granddaughter away. Oh, we are back at this store at the beginning of the game. Interesting. My mother-in-law wouldn't allow me to go to Dr. Yi's clinic to get medicine. The other pharmacy is in the west of the town. Keep going left and I'll get there. That is the shop, isn't it? And it is a bit too dark. Uncle Wang, I would like a pack of cigarettes. Why are you staring at me? What's the matter? Have you seen a ghost? You... You don't recognize me? I'm Tian Yu. T Tian Yu? 
You've switched off your lights at night. No wonder you cannot recognize me. Stop staring at me. Give me my cigarettes. I'm in a hurry. Uh, sure. Oh, I forgot to bring a lighter. Would you give me a light? Are you... You really want to smoke? Uncle Wang, why are you acting weird today? Are you refusing to give me a light? No, no. Ah, here you go. That's weird. Why is it not lighting up? Let me try. Oh, and it's not Tuan Tian Yu. It is, in fact, his wife. Uncle Wang? Why am I here? Who gave me this pack of cigarettes? Jia Huan, you bought it. You were alone this whole time. No one else was with you. I don't have a strong heart. Do not scare me like that. Interesting. So she is... Inhabited, maybe, by the ghost of you or something? Alright, so maybe what the witch did brought you back inside the uh, his wife's body, I guess, or something. I mean, we keep finding things in the house. That's what the grandmother said in the diary. She found uh, fish. She found smokes. Now she's going out to buy smokes. Maybe she's possessed. Mom is getting more and more weird lately. Alright, that is Fan Fang's diary then. She takes care of the flowers that dad planted. Smokes the cigarettes that dad smoked. And does a lot of things that dad liked to do. Yes, only confirming our suspicions of being possessed. What happened to mom? Fold the doodle. Oh, and this is what happens to mom. Dad is inside of her, I guess. So, Zhao Zhahuan was possessed by Tian Yu's spirit? This is absurd. No wonder Wang Jinkai said Zhao Zhahuan was mad after the Tian family murder case. I would think the same thing if I saw it. But I still think something doesn't make sense. Don't you see something strange about this? Every time Zhao Zhahuan behaved weirdly, her mother-in-law was nearby. Oh, okay, so... Hold on, two theories. Does Chen mean she is causing it? Like her mother-in-law is... making Tian Yu appear inside of Zhahuan? Or is Zhao Zhahuan pretending... Nah. I, I don't know. Let's keep going. As if she was secretly monitoring her. Oh yeah, she, she could just be spying on her, I guess. It could be a coincidence. Being in the same place while living under the same roof is pretty normal. Unless the coincidence happened again. Is Zhao Zhahuan back? This is Zhao Zhahuan's bedroom. If this was her, she'd just walk in. She wouldn't have knocked. I'll see who it is. Alright then. Who wants to enter Zha Zha Huan's room? Where do you want to see through? The window or the door or the door seam? Uh, let's look at the door seam. Make it a bit more dramatic. <laughs> There are two shadows dividing the light shining through the seam. Someone is standing outside the door. Get down and have a look. The person is coming through the door. Find a place to hide, now. Ah, uh, okay, I guess the closet? Miss Chen, hide in the closet. Oh, 
damn. <laughs> that was close. Mom, Dad, fun fun. Food is ready. All right, hold on, hold on. If a voice called her, before I get to reading what Chen says, it was Fan Fang who called her mother and her two grandparents. So one of the three was the one standing right before us right now. We know it was not the daughter because it's her room. Lin said as much. So it was either the grandfather or the grandmother invading essentially the room of the... Uh, of their daughter, I guess. Phew, I was close. I think I heard Fan Fan's voice just now. I felt like she pulled me into the closet. Hmm, I felt that too. I feel like Fan Fan has been helping us, even at the ancestral graveyard. Alright, so, I guess Fan Fan is the good one in the story. She wants us to find out what happened. By the way, did you see who that person was? It should be Tian Zhan Rong. All right, that would be consistent with my thoughts. It's the grandfather, I guess. But if Tian Zhan Rong has a key, why did he knock before entering? I think he was checking if anyone else was in the room. Yes, he wanted to enter unseen. Interesting. See, I knew Zha Zha Huan's in-laws were suspicious. Maybe they were behind Zhao Shahuan's spirit possession. And that would be actually consistent with the grandmother watching her. Anyway, let's continue investigating the vicinity. Tian Zhan Rong might have left something there. Alright. Let's see. What was the grandfather doing without the daughter's permission? Someone had opened the diary. They are indeed monitoring her, both of, the, both of them. Both the grandmother and the grandfather are monitoring the mother. Interesting. Well, I mean, if she... Oh, shoot. I mean, if they are acting, if she's acting the mother like she is Tian Yu, no wonder why the grandparents are interested in that. It's like their son is back in spirit or something. There is a burning candle at the door. Leap over the candle and leave the room. Come back. Come back. Parents shed tears, drenching their clothes. The wife and the daughter's faces are filled with sorrow. I yearn for my son day and night, hoping his soul will return. Well, there is a ritual going on here, isn't it? Someone is sobbing outside the window. Come back, come back, the underworld is dangerous. Come back, come back, the water under Nahi Bridge is cold. And there is the bridge. There's a black bridge up ahead. And let's get to the bridge, I guess. Illuminate the road ahead with a bright candle. Bribe the ghost guards with spirit money. And light the candle we do. Leave your money here, and you shall pass. Leave here if you did not take money with you. Now ah, that is a greedy ghost. Hand over the ancestor money. And we are folding paper. Interesting. Oh, we are making another boat. Yes. Uh, we can go to the left or to the right, I guess. Interesting. 
That is an unexpected journey. Sprinkle down rice on the path home. Guide the spirit back with a plain flag. Alright, so we should follow the flags, I guess. This one waving to the left. Or this one waving to the right. Alright, this has changed. Oh, and it changed again. Okay, we keep following the flags, I guess. Until we reach the shore. Where did Miss Chen go? Oh well, I guess we are on our own. Oh yes. Come back, come back, come back to your warm home. Come back, come back, come back to your family's embrace. Oh, there is a ritual going on for the daughter. They are... These two are channeling Tian Yu via the daughter. Interesting. We put a lot of effort to be reunited. We can't afford any mistakes. Jahuan, the fish is steaming on the stove. Keep an eye on the fire in case it goes out. And they are clearly distracting the mother. Oh, or they want to see if she's gonna eat the fish. I mean, if she is possessed by... by you, then she likes fish. Repeatedly press A to turn up the fire. Okay, this kind of looks like we are in hell. <laughs> yep. I would say that looks pretty hellish. Somebody's clearly being tortured there. Sinner. Though he did not rob graves, he benefited from them. His sins are unforgivable. Oh, remember, the grandfather robbed graves and the son died for his mistakes. That was karmic retribution. So I'm guessing the son benefited from them because the grandfather, well, did all kinds of things for his son, like found him a job and whatnot. Interesting. He will suffer 163.84 million years of dismemberment in his father's stead. He must not leave until his derm is due. Oh, wow. All right. So the son is suffering in hell, but he's channeled back to life through the wife. Wow, what a weird story. On the slate lies a bloody person. The ring on his hand is particularly conspicuous. This is... This is the ring that pairs with Zhao Zhahuan's. Is this person Tian Yu? Provide the flesh to stay. Seal the wandering soul in the embrace of your wife. Zhahuan, eat the fish. It's delicious. Your mom made this especially for you. Oh no, this is the final part of the ritual, isn't it? Tian Yu was being tortured here all along. There is no way he could possess Zhao Xiaohuan. Oh, interesting. Hold on. Hold on. So, this whole time, what is going on? Is the wife pretending to be Tian Yu? Ah, we'll see. Then what was summoned by the Tians? Oh, or something different was summoned. Interesting. Was Zhao Zhahuan really possessed? Or so at this point we have two options. She's either being possessed by something other than her husband, or she's not possessed and she's pretending. Grandpa? Grandma? Mom doesn't like fish. Do not force her to eat it. No, your dad likes fish. So your mom does too. Hurry up. 
you will definitely like it. Come on, dig in. Eat you, eat, eat. Mom, the fish is really delicious. Where did Jiahuan go? Oh wow, Jiahuan is asking where Jiahuan went. Interesting. The couple is united forever, relive their joyful life. Scorching flames suddenly rise from the brazier next to the slate. The diary in the brazier has been burned to pieces. The plastic lock has melted due to the high temperature. The diary cannot be opened because the melted lock is stuck onto the pages inside. I don't know if something new was written on it. And I'm not sure if Zhao Xiaohuan was really possessed by something, or... For some reason, she pretended to be possessed by TNU and deceived everyone. Right, interesting, I was expecting option number one, but I guess we're going towards option number two. This diary is like a pawn that has been used and abandoned. The secrets inside might be buried forever in this endless hell with TNU. So the daughter is pretending. Interesting. Alright, time to go back, I guess. Hey, do you still want to continue investigating the Tian family's murder case? Okay. That is another mirror. I think. An old dusty cloth is covering a full-length mirror. Remove the curtain. The mirror is reflecting a familiar figure. Hey, it's been a long time. Last time I saw you, you were still in the police academy, right? What case were you working on? Oh, could this be the father of Lin? I mean, he was a cop as well. And he probably looks like him, so it makes sense to see him in a mirror. A murder case in which the body was hidden. Oh yeah, you helped the police find the body. I heard that you were given an exception to transfer to the criminal investigation department right after you graduated because of this. This police uniform suits you quite well. Why are you here, Dad? Hey, why are you so obsessed with the Tian family's case? Does it matter who the murderer is? They're dead anyway. I'm a cop now, it's my duty to bring justice to the dead. Where did you learn this cliché? Even if you find the murderer, will it do you any good? Remember, you have to handle more big cases and collect more honors. Oh, spoken like every Chinese parent, am I right? <laughs> Give up this case. There is a bigger case right in front of you. Oh, what does that mean? What case? You know it. I don't know what you're talking about. Then answer me. Why did you allow Chen Xingxu to get involved in the investigation? Oh, we are talking about the case of uh, Chen then. Interesting. I guess she knows the Tian family really well. I believe she can provide a lot of clues. You're avoiding the main point. Ah, uh, she's really reliable then? And she helped a lot? Oh please, who would believe these excuses? 
I know you don't want to answer my question. You haven't changed at all. You like to keep secrets. Let me tell you, by allowing Chen Xing Shu to join you in the investigation, you can take the opportunity to learn more about the tomb robbery Tian Zhan Rong partook in. Oh yes, we have that crime going on as well. Completely forgot about that one. You know it is a big case. If you can bring down an entire grave robbing syndicate, you'll gain a lot of contributions. Chen Xing Su and Fan Fan were close, so you want to get more clues from Chen Xing Su. Did I get you wrong? I know exactly what you're thinking. I'm different now. Yes, you grew a little taller and a little more mature. But you still haven't changed. You need more approval and more honors. I know that nothing will come out from investigating the Tian family murder case. But I want to get the answer to the question that has been bothering me all this time. It is right here. What's the question? Since you can read my mind, why ask me? Lin Lixon, you can't change the outcome of the case. And that is gone, I guess. Lixon. 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 This place is the Criminal Investigation Department. Alright, so that is new, I guess. Wow, the story is progressing quite rapidly, isn't it? There are some materials on the Tian family's case in the cabinet. Which do you want to read up on? Alright, I guess let's start with the poison and the fingerprints. Tetramethyl... well, that thing, commonly known as rat poison, was detected in Zhao Shahuan's sleeping pills. Some of the capsules inside the medicine bottle were filled with rat poison. The sleeping pills were purchased from the town's clinic three months before the incident. Poison's components were not detected in the same batch of sleeping pills. This basically ruled out the possibility of poisoning by the clinic staff. Oh, interesting. So the doctor is innocent, at least according to the evidence. Somebody else in the household did the thing. There are three different fingerprints on the bottle cap. One is from Zhao Zhahuan. The other two fingerprints are still being matched. Also remember, we have a murder case where three people died and one hung himself. That would be the wife. So now, the general, the popular belief is that the, that Juan put the sleeping pills, I guess, in the food or something? She killed the others and then she hung herself. All right. Three fingerprints. Obtain the fingerprints on the bottle cap. Interesting. How? Alright, let's read up on the motive first, and we'll worry about the fingerprints later. The townspeople said that Zhao Zhahuan behaved strangely before the incident. She was suspected to suffer from schizophrenia. Well, if she is pretending to be possessed by you, she is pretending to have schizophrenia. Now, how did she end up killing everybody, though? Or maybe she didn't, who knows. There weren't any obvious conflicts within the Tian family. Combining the note suspected to be Zha Xiaohuan's suicide note that she left at the crime scene, we speculate that she suffered from mental illness and had suicidal thoughts long before the incident. In conclusion, Zha Xiaohuan had been suicidal for a long period of time. Due to her mental illness, she put the poison she intended to commit suicide with inside the Kongi. This caused the death of the three other members of the Tian family. Alright, that is definitely wrong. That is easy to understand. I mean, she didn't have any motive to kill them. The grandparents, maybe... 
I don't know. Did they have motive to kill the daughter? I mean, he was she was possessed by you in their eyes. So if anything, they would like to keep her alive, wouldn't they? Interesting. Outsiders have not an idea that the Tian family has a strained relationship. Even Zhao Zhuang's madness could be a disguise. Yeah, we kind of figured that one out. But if I share these facts with Captain Lu, will they believe me? Probably not. And yet another telephone call. Hello, this is Chen. Also, oh, Chen is speaking to Zhao Huan now. Interesting. Probably about uh, Fan Fan. Hello, Miss Chen. This is Zhao Shahuan. Miss Zhao, Fan Fan's transfer has been approved. Thank you so much, Miss Chen. I didn't do much. Fan Fan is a good kid. Seeing the outside world will create more opportunities for her development. By the way, are Fan Fan's grandparents okay with it? Last time you said that their grandparents did not want her to leave the town. Uh-huh. They ended up agreeing with the idea. Oh, hold on now. Why did they change their mind? They didn't want their granddaughter leaving. Interesting. Ah, uh, good to hear that. Miss Chen, I also found the thing you were looking for. I'll send it to you when I get the chance. Miss Zhao, you are a great help. I'm the one who should thank you. Without your help, Fan Fan and I would not be able to leave this place. Oh, they're coming back soon. Keep in touch. What the hell? The grandparents? She is deceiving the grandparents somehow. I mean, she said they are coming back soon, so that means she didn't want her, uh, them to listen on the telephone call with Chen. So she has been deceiving the grandparents in order to take the granddaughter away somehow. And somehow she convinced them to agree to it. Interesting. You disappeared again. I've been looking all over for you. Miss Chen... What is the thing you were looking for that Zha Zhahuan mentioned? Since you found out, I'll tell you about it. When I was a journalist, I came to Xingtan to cover a story. I heard that Tian Zhanrong and Wang Jingkai were selling cultural relics. The press asked me to come to Xingtan under the guise of a volunteer teacher, and there it is. She's not a teacher. That is what uh, the statue meant, that Miss Chen is much more than a volunteer teacher. She is, in fact, an undercover journalist. After further investigation, I discovered that Tian Zhan Rong used to work in a bank. He habitually recorded each transaction on his ledger. Tian Zhan Rong had some big-name clients, so you can guess how important this ledger was to him. So, you used Fan Fang to approach the Tian family? Uh-huh. Because of Fan Fang, Zhao Zhuan and I slowly got to know each other. She wanted to take Fan Fang out of Xing Tan, but Tian Zhan Rong and his wife wouldn't allow her. So I made a deal with Zhao Zhuan. She helped me find the ledger. And I promised her that once Tian Zhan Rong and his accomplices were arrested, she could leave Xing Tan with Fan Fang safely. Miss Chen, have you got the ledger? Before I could get it, Fan Fan's family had been murdered. And I don't know what the ledger is. Now many things are starting to make sense. Officer, what did you find from your investigation? Sorry, Miss Chen. Since you've searched so much information, I don't want to hide anything from you. But this isn't the time yet. I still need to investigate something important. Where? 
I found information on the bottle that contained the poison, and on the bottle cup there are three fingerprints. Perhaps the key to solve the Tian family case lies in these three fingerprints. Let's try to find a match for the fingerprints in the Tian's family house. And we will conclude this investigation in the next episode, folks. So tune in back if you want to see what really happened to the Tian family. <laughs>